Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today Apple announced iLife 09, iWork 09, a new 17-inch MacBook Pro, and some great news about iTunes. Let's take a look. Apple's Senior Vice President of Marketing, Phil Schiller, took the stage today at the Macworld Expo. And he started off by talking about iLife 09. iLife 09 is going to have a new version of all of the iLife apps. He highlighted some of the new features, like for instance, iPhoto is going to be very much revamped with some new features like the ability to tag photos based on faces and it will use facial recognition technology to figure out who's in your different photos. And it's also going to have the ability to use the GPS information stored with some photos to find out what location those photos are taken in and some maps things that will allow you to look, hook that location from the photos to maps that you can view and then you can group photos by their location or even build the maps into slideshows that you can create with some new slideshow themes in iPhoto. Also new in iLife 09 is GarageBand 09 complete with lessons that you can get for guitar and piano taught by professional teachers and also some artist lessons taught by some famous musicians like Sting and John Fogarty and Sarah McLaughlin and the like. Also getting an update is iWork with iWork 09. Not only will this feature new versions of the software like Pages and Numbers and Keynote, all with new themes and new features, but it's also going to feature iWork.com which will be this online space where you can collaborate with other people that have iWork. You can post your documents up there and share them with people you specify and they can even edit those documents and add notes to them right there on the web. There's some interesting new pricing for the iLife and iWork Suites too. They're both going to still be available for $79 a piece and $99 for family packs of each one of those. But there's also going to be a $49 option to buy iWork with a new Mac. There's also going to be this thing called the Mac Box Set. The Mac Box Set is going to be $169 and with it you get Mac OS X and you get iLife 09 and iWork 09. Apple also introduced a new 17-inch MacBook Pro. Now this was kind of expected and it's pretty much the same thing as the 15-inch MacBook Pro but with a larger screen. It's a pretty good processor in it and you can go up to 8 gigabytes of memory. And there's a new battery in it. It's not a removable battery but the battery boasts up to 9 hours of battery life and 1,000 charges using some new technology. You can also, as an option, get an anti-glare screen and another option is to get a 256 gig solid state drive. You can get the new 17-inch MacBook later this month and it will be $2,800. Hardware and software weren't the only announcements. The last one was for iTunes and it looks like iTunes is going to be DRM free by the end of this first quarter. Matter of fact it looks like 8 out of the 10 million songs are DRM free right now. There's also going to be 3 prices for songs from now on. 69 cents, 99 cents, and a buck 29. And the higher tier songs are going to go all the way up to 256 megabits per second AAC files. Pretty high quality. For more information, go to my blog post at MacMost.com where I have all the details. I'm headed off now to San Francisco where I'll be going to the Macworld Expo, looking around at the vendors and looking for the most interesting Mac and iPhone products to be featured them on future episodes. You can follow my exploits there by using Twitter. Also, I'll be posting a new newsletter later this week. And, of course, I'll be posting something from Macworld Expo later this week. You can subscribe to this podcast using iTunes as well. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.